specular highlight area. So I'm in the anseoscopic uh, shader and I'm coming down to my specular highlights. My specular highlights, I'm going to start with my specular level. In my specular level, this is used to change the brightness or the intensity level of the highlight of the material. So as I increase this value, uh, so will the brightness of that little bright spot, of that shiny spot, uh, is going to go up. So the specular, which is the shiny spot, where the, is going to get actually more intense the higher this number goes up. So if I crank this up to a high number, all right, I get a more shinier spot showing up. Okay. My glossiness is used to uh, control the size of the specular highlight. So as I increase this value, the size of the highlight increases. So let's go back this to 85 here again. And so it's very shiny. And now in my glossiness, let's say I go up to 75. And you can see now that the glossiness area of the thing is bigger. All right, so I go back to 25 and you can see that the area is smaller. Um, now my Anseoscropy uh, spinner, this is the shape of the highlight. So the highlight uh, is in a, uh, an elliptical shape. Uh, these elliptical shapes then, so the higher the number uh, we get, we end up with uh, a more of a, an elliptical shape. So if I go up to say 85, I get more of an elliptical shape here, a longer narrow shape. And I go down lower, such as 25, I get more of a rounder shape. So, uh, so if we want high numbers such as 90, this is uh, what we're going to use for things such as glasses, creating glasses or brushed metals. So we want those numbers to be up fairly high. So I'll go with 50 back to 50 for now. My orientation. My orientation is what angle is this on? When it's at zero, it is basically going up and down. But I could change this to say 45 degrees. When I change it to 45 degrees, you can see it's on an angle now, going sideways. So this controls what angle my uh, my highlight, my specular highlights are. So by default, that's zero. So this is all the shiny spot, right? My remember my specular is the shiny color, the shiny spot, and so that is my specular color. And this is how we control that specular spot, is down here in the specular highlight area of our anseoscropic shader.